Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Looney and you are watching part 76 of Let's Play Legend of Lagaya. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. Uh, things have been very hectic for me. I've been uh, doing a lot of stuff at work and uh, my guild in World of Warcraft was raiding a lot more than usual. So I was away from this more than I wanted to be, but I have the day off today, so I decided I would sit here and do some videos for you of Let's Play Legend of Lagaya. And um, before we continue onward, we have to go into Usha's laboratory, but before we do that, actually, I missed an item. And uh, no one no one actually caught it, um, but I've done the, as you can see in some of the older videos, um, I've done annotations for... Uh, items and magic spells like what what number it is and the reason I do that is because at the end of the game it has a scorecard that shows you all the loot that you got during the game um, not all the map not all of the um, uh, not all of the treasures actually count towards that total so I count the ones that only count towards that and, and the reason why some of them don't count is because they are not optional you have to get them so the game doesn't count them so out of all the treasures so far I've been doing very good to stay right on track but I did miss one here in Seoul and uh, you know, might as well be Seoul because it's so huge but the treasure chest itself is way over here in the corner um, and you can see it behind this tube over there it's right here. And inside is a shield elixir! Yay! Totally worthless, really, but um, we did need to pick that up for our item count because otherwise we would not have gotten all the treasures. So, always keep your eye out in this game. There is a lot of hidden stuff all over the place. And I know I had said before that I was going to do this or that I should do it, and I'm going to actually go there and do it now. Um, I'm not sure what level it's on, so I'm just going to run all the way through all this stuff, but we need to go back and use some of our coins to buy Seru bread so we've got money. Here we go, the Muscle Dome! Uh, that way we just have more than, I, I don't think we have much gold right now on us. Yeah, we only have 15,000, so that's, that's pretty much not even enough to buy any items. Yes, we would like to exchange some for Seru bread. Now, we only have 500. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, and I think Seru bread sell for like 8,000. So that should be good enough. Um, just to make sure if there are some items that we can, we can purchase them. So let's go up here to the bakery. I just passed it. Or past it going down. Um, and we'll sell some of this bread. Hello! Okay. Cerro bread, Cerro bread. I'm not sure where that is. There it is. Alright. So we'll sell four of them. We keep one left over. Alright. That should help us out a little bit, money-wise. And now we have to head back to the Usha Laboratory. So, the easiest way to do that is to just hop into an elevator and go back down to the first floor. Thank God for Door of Winds. I really... that. It's little things like that that if they wouldn't have added that in the game, it would have been really annoying and the game would suffer because of it. But because they put it in there, it's a lot of fun, so... It's very cool. Alright. And now we get to continue the storyline. I think it's... I don't know, to me it's felt like ages since we've done anything in this game. But now we must go to the Usha Research Lab uh, Center, as it says, and meet up with Dr. Usha. And again, guys, thank you so much for being patient with me. I, I know that I should be trying to upload videos more, but I've got, I'm trying to stay motivated. 
I've got a couple games that I really want to play next that aren't so long as far as RPGs, so... Um, actually, can we try... Is there anything... Oh, it doesn't look like there's anything up here. Oh, but there are encounters. Uh, a boogie pump and a killer wolf. I'm not sure if we've seen either of those, but... Um, let's just... Uh, actually... You know what? Remember I said... What was that stupid thing that I spent 100,000 coins on? Well, if you look, that accessory, and some of you caught it in the previous video and I just accidentally showed it for a split second, there is a new spell that Vaughn has called Palma, and you only have this when you have that accessory equipped that protects you against Earth. So it's kind of, you can think of it as like an Earth Summon, that you have protection against Earth plus the ability to summon Palma. Now you can see also that Palma takes 200 MP. That is a lot of MP, but we're going to cast it, and it's just on everything. And let's just spear it with the other two. And we can see what we spent all this time and effort to try and, trying to get. Hopefully it's worth it. Oh, here we go. Badass, I have to say. Meteor cluster. Oh, holy. Whoa. Oh, oh. holy. Crap. Well, I'd say, yeah, I'd say that was probably worth the money. I mean, it's something that it would make a lot of boss encounters very easy to have, especially if you use it and then pop a, like a magic berry on or something to just do it again, but that's pretty awesome. And what is this? Doctor, Doctor Usha, is Doctor Usha there? is it? It's me, Noah. I came to see you, Doctor. Noah? I don't know any Noah. We're on a journey to wipe the mist from the face of the earth. We came seeking knowledge, Dr. Usha. Please, let us in. Well, you may just be clever, Seru. You say you want to destroy the mist. If you're telling the truth, you must know the password from someone in Seoul. Well, let me hear the password. Ah, oh, remember we had to write this down? Well, it's X, X, triangle, circle, squaw. That's, that's it. So you are the heroes. You're finally here. Just wait a moment. I'll send down the elevator. So please, wait a moment. Oh, that is it. That will take us up to Dr. Usha. That is an interesting elevator. But, let's do it. Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh, and the music again. Hmm. Hello! You're the first strangers I've seen in ten years. I'm so happy. Nice to meet you all. The doctor awaits you in the laboratory up there. Go pay him a visit right away. Hmm, Mrs. Usha, huh? It's spicy. Spicy but good. Oh, it's really good. What about you people? Ooh. Welcome to the Usha Research Center. Would you like something healthy and satisfying to eat? Yeah, we just summoned a friggin' Earth God outside, so... Thank you very much. What hearty appetite you have. You seem very refreshed. Ha, <laughs> that's great! I guess the ten years I spent hiding from the mist were worth it. Hey, customers, the first in a long time. Now, let's see. Welcome. If you want tools, this is the place. What can I get for you? Well... It looks like we already have some ivory. Ooh, you can buy ivory books. That'd be nice, actually, if you wanted to have all three people with it. I think I'm just going to stick with two for now. Um, the bronze book increases rate of acquiring items after battle. That is very cool. So I will buy one of those. And then Bad Luck Bell increases encounter rate. Um, all right. That won't be useful until very late in the game, I'm assuming, when we're not going to need to sit and grind a lot of miles. Do you need anything else? Nope, that should do it. 
Thank you, come again. Ooh, and a chest. A healing berry. Very cool. The doctor built this laboratory in a hurry ten years ago when we learned about the floating castle. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything else here. What's, what's outside? Ooh, hey guys. Me? I'm collecting samples of the outside mist. I'm just killing time. We're watching it in ships. If we could destroy the floating castle, we could free Caristo Kingdom of the Mist. You're taking turns watching the castle? I want the... I'd like your job, please. Alright. And what's... Oh. It's a hot spring. <laughs> Vaughn, go, a hot spring. There's a hot spring here. Well, imagine that. They even have a bath in this floating place. Not really floating, Gala. I want to take a bath. I want to get into the hot spring. Hey, wait a minute. Whoa. What do you mean I'm going to take a bath? I don't mind. We can take a bath together. Oh, Noah. No, no I, I can't do that. Why not? You don't like me. Look, the bath is too small for the two of us. I... Oh, that's okay. I have a small butt so we can both fit together. <laughs> Noah, stop embarrassing this person with your small butt. You're always yelling at me. I'm sorry, she's still young and she doesn't know about human ways. Uh-huh. Take a bath with a girl? I couldn't do that, I'm, I'm too shy. I'd like to, but Mrs. Usha would get mad at me. Why, she take a bath with you? Hey, look, hey, what are you doing? So, did you have a smooth ride on the elevator? Yes, we did. It was very... I'm glad. Just hearing that makes all this pumping worthwhile. Dr. Usha is a naturalist and an alchemist, versed in both the ancient and modern knowledge and science. You know that woman downstairs? Well, she's actually Dr. Usha's wife, if you're gonna believe that. Alright. Up we go. We've been working for the doctor for ten years now. The cyclotron or... Dr. Usha is a great man, but he's a little long-winded. But he's got a chest here with a magic fruit. All right, what are you? Dr. Usha has been studying the mist for a long time, but he has made little progress. Well, that's not very good. So, what do you have to say? Hmm. <laughs> ah, you are here. I was waiting for you. You are the brave heroes, are you not? Yes, we are. All three of us hate the mist, and we're going to destroy it by reviving the Genesis trees. <laughs> I hate the mist, too. <laughs> I knew it. So those are Rasru on your arms, right? Doctor, you know about the Rasru? Of course, of course. But who are you? Where do you come from? Why don't we start with that question? I, um, well... There was this wolf, and um, I was about to die, and so then this Rosaru, and then the Genesis tree. Yeah, that's it. Then I... Calm down, young lady. We have plenty of time. Try to speak more slowly. Vaughn, Noah, and Gala each told them the fateful adventures. The destruction of Rim Elm's Wall, Terra and Noah, their fateful meeting at Mount Rikuroa, Byron, Sangi, and Gala, the Sky Gardens of Jeremiah, the mystery of Octim, the tragedy of Hari, the prophet... The Windless City of Vidna, the Seru Brides of Ratuya, the Swift Flying Train, Gaza, the Sword Master of Soul, and the Ice Covered Town of Buma. The Mist and the Genesis Trees, the Genesis Trees and the Rosru. It was an amazing tale! Turns, in turns, the three spoke. It was morning by the time they finished. Oh, I am truly amazed, truly amazed! What a dreadful ordeal you have undergone for such a young age! Overcoming such adversity to bring peace to the world. How normal, noble. You are indeed the heroes. I will do whatever I can to help you. My knowledge is at your disposal. Of course, destroying the floating castle should completely eliminate the mist from Caristo. But the floating castle can only be reached by air. To revive, a genesis tree is key. There is a genesis tree in Buma, but it is covered in ice. It is impossible to revive it in that state. However... The ice can be melted. There is a Seru in the Norvine that can to the north that breathes cold air. All right, guys, and that does it for this episode. We will come back when we come back. We will figure out how Dr. Usha plans to melt these Genesis trees. So thanks for watching, and tune in next time.